Hi. Happy Christmas, December. It's come very fast and furious, but it's here. And I don't know if you feel like me, but it feels almost like in one of those cartoon uh, Christmas movies where the calendar just starts rolling by rapidly. It kind of feels like this year has been that way. And I don't know if you do this, but I kind of sit at the end of each year and uh, write down the different ways I saw God move uh, throughout the year. And so as I was doing that um, for this ministry this year, I realized that he's done absolutely nothing like I thought he would. And you probably see that too in your, in your own story as you're recounting what your past year has looked like. But boy, um, God just has thoughts that aren't our thoughts and ways that aren't our ways. And we as a ministry have enjoyed um, the fruit of God doing things differently, surprising us as a ministry. The first way he did it this year actually started at the end of last year at our board meeting. I brought to the board that I did not want to do Monday Musings uh, this year that I just didn't have anything ruminating in my spirit, usually months before the Lord will give me a theme or an idea, and it'll just flow with such ease. There was nothing. And so the social media guru of our board, Philly Jones, um, no, he's not. He doesn't even have one social media account. But somehow, divinely directed by the Holy Spirit, he has this idea, he said, you know, babe, maybe you just need to do your Monday musings a little more organically, off the cuff, just whatever God's laying on your heart at that moment. Do it at different places, maybe on the dock, maybe after pickleball. And I looked at him, and I think I said this. I was like, that is no. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. That doesn't even make sense. They need to be prepared and thoughtful and thought through. <laughs> and... Um, then in a couple weeks, after actually praying about it, I thought, you know, that might really be a good idea. And then I did a couple. Good Monday morning. Good Monday morning. Good Monday morning. It's the first fire of the season. Good Monday morning. I'm digging in dirt today. We have gotten more responses from Monday Musings this year than we have in a very long time. We have had some really powerful emails from many of you. And number one, I just want to say thank you when you um, share with me how something's impacted you. Often you can sit behind a computer screen or work diligently at something and you just never know. And so um, I'm always appreciative of the input, the responses, the testimonies, the encouragement that it's been to you encourages me. So thank you for that. And um, so it's just been a gift to do Monday Musings this year. And it's been a, a gift to watch its impact. If you are on our newsletter but don't get Monday Musings, they're a four to eight minute video devotional I send out every Monday morning, but you do need to just subscribe if you want them directly in your inbox and you can forward them to a friend. It makes it super easy to share. So we'll put a link below on here for you to share that if you, or for you to subscribe if you wanna be able to subscribe and see those if you don't already. The other way the Lord surprised us as a ministry is we really thought this would be a year of weekend experiences. And it wasn't. We had zero weekend experiences in this room that we kind of built to house them. So that had me really curious with the Lord. And it was so interesting that instead God brought back a arm of our ministry that I had put to bed about almost seven years ago, I think. And I really was hopeful I would never have to pick it up again. If you ever put one of those down and you wish you'd never have to see it again, and all of a sudden God says, ah, oh, I'm going to bring you back to something you've done in the past. Well, he did. 
We did our first VBS for Women event in years. We have uh, relocated for the majority, pretty much the majority of our time to Georgia. And inside of that, we have found a wonderful group of people and it felt like a wonderful way to introduce the work of Reclaiming Hearts Ministries to this area. So we did. We did a VBS event for women called Adulting. It was beautiful. We had um, all kinds of different activities and it was just so well received. inside of there for their enjoyment. All of Eden is theirs. However, he tells them there's just one thing. Just one thing. There's this one tree. It's a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I don't want you to touch it because if you do, you'll die. And it is inside of this knowledge that the serpent comes into the love story. And from that event, the Lord impressed upon my heart to do a women's Bible study, of which I have not done in a very long time. So the house that was supposed to house Weekend Experiences housed a 10-week Bible study with a group of wonderful women of all ages, stages, experiences, and life. And we had this intimate setting to walk through our questions together, our revelations together. And I just have not had the opportunity to do ministry that in that kind of intimate environment, study environment in a very long time. So it was just a real confirmation that um, God is working. He's using the space. It just looks different than what we thought it was created for. And you know, sometimes it's just really hard to let go of how we think things should look. But as I've said so many times, God cannot get anything to us when we're living like this. It's only when we live like this that he can get stuff to us so he can get things through us. So that was just a beautiful time to lead those women and they're asking for what's next. So I am praying about what's next. I will be leading a Bible study at Brentwood Baptist for the months of January and February in Brentwood, Tennessee. And so if you're in the Brentwood, Nashville area and wanna join us, just email us at info at reclaiminghearts.org and we'll give you more information about that upcoming Bible study. So as I look uh, back at 2023 and look ahead into 2024, I do have to say, I have discovered something that I've known, but I feel like the Lord has re-emphasized uh, to me over this last year. And that is how much ministry has happened right around the kitchen table. That probably the greatest fruit that I have seen in this whole year is the conversation with new friends and old friends and nieces and nephew and 
with pastors and pastor's wives, with new parents and young people just trying to figure out what the next age and stage is going to look like. And inside of the confines of those intimate moments, powerful ministry has occurred. And it is an honor to be able to serve God in that way. So it's been a full year here, and it's there's a full year coming. Uh, Bible studies are on the horizon. Um, other opportunities that I'm not yet at liberty to um, share. But I just thank you. I thank you um, for believing in the work of this ministry. I thank you for those of you who financially partner with us. Uh, we are so very grateful. I have never in the 12 years of us being a nonprofit, I've never had to take a salary from Reclaiming Hearts Ministries. And I'm so very grateful for that. And so for those of you that give, thank you. For those of you that um, have been ministered to by this ministry, we're going to have the donate button down there. You can give, you can become a, a partner with us for the work of the kingdom of God. We um, don't do things big. Uh, we're not a wide ministry. We're not... Um, we don't sell millions of books or speak to millions of people, but we are a deep ministry and we've been a fruitful ministry. And I could not be more honored than to be a part of that. So from my family to your family, I wish you the merriest of Christmases. I pray your home be filled with the mighty God the Everlasting Father, the Wonderful Counselor, and the Prince of Peace. He has come unto us this holiday season, no matter where we may be, no matter where we may find our hearts in the greatest season of challenge and heartbreak and questions and fears and struggles are in the greatest season of joy and delight. He's in them all. So thank you for this season of allowing us to come into your heart in some way, your home in some way, your life in some way. We're very grateful. And I will look forward to sharing 2024. Goodness. With you. God bless you. And Merry Christmas.